So are you sure you can't come back to bed? It's not fair when you sent me. You know I'm powerless to resist. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you call this? You? What? I'm half now, really? Right, well, think on. See you later, guys. Mwah! What a man. <laughs> Our new price structure. But you've already put the prices up once. People won't be happy. That's what I said. We're not interested in what you said. Just do the job you paid for. You think you're gonna get away with this? It's all above board. See? We've gone organic. But we haven't. Donna, work with me on this one, please. <laughs> I have to get off. Oh, it's early. I know, but it's it's Max's birthday. I want to pay my respects. Mm. Do you want me to come with you? I'd rather go on my own. I'll see you for lunch. <laughs> Viv is going to be gobsmacked when she sees us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One night six. I, I think you made a mistake. No, I haven't. No, I mean. We know how much these cost off by art. I mean, we should do them out that we go through. Well, they used to be 150, then Viv had the audacity to put them up to 195, and now you're telling me they've gone up again? It's only a penny. I don't care how much it is. It's out of order. Viv! I'm busy. She's busy. Viv! Look, as it's you, we'll forget the extra penny this time. This time? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What's wrong? I am not being taken for a mug. You can keep your flaming fingers. A dissatisfied customer. I hope you haven't forgotten how to appease my customers, because I'm sure I can always find somebody else to do the job. Where's that? Couldn't face it. Yeah. No, not now, all right. Right. <laughs> oh, hello, Bishop. Morning. Hello. <laughs> Keeping busy. Because work doesn't stop just because he gets married. Mm. You haven't planned a honeymoon, then? Oh, no, we haven't had time. Well, that's fortunate, because I'm sending you to Loch Lomond. Now, the McClellan retreat. I think you know it. No. Sorry, no. You try and scup our relationship, you know, granted you had your reasons, they're perfectly valid. But then, when we decided on a quick wedding, you did an awful lot of umming and ahhing before deciding to marry us. Lawrence. I'm sorry, but this needs to be said. We have been married two days, Bishop. You can't ask Ashley to abandon me now for some ecclesiastical gathering. Well, I'm not. I'm asking him and your good self to take a week's holiday in one of the most beautiful parts of the British Isles. You'll have the place to yourselves, not a cleric in sight. Really? Reverend Updike has agreed to cover your duties here. Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you deserve a proper honeymoon. Mm -hmm. The last thing I want to do is uh, antagonize my employees' wives. <laughs> Thanks very much. We just want to keep an eye on you. Paddy, are you free now? Um, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, Mr. Parrot. Look, about Fireblade, you have no idea who she is. Well, she could be a mass murderer for all I care. I still worship her. I've no say in the matter, have I? Mr. Parrot. Tony! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I live here, you know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's wicked to see you. I can't believe this. I thought you was in Portugal looking for Jason. Oh, I quit that job months ago. So what are you doing around here? I've met this bloke. Stinking rich and twice as gullible. A sugar daddy? Yeah, and I'll tell you what, mate. He's such a sucker. I've told him I'm madly in love with him. This is my chance to make a right killing. Well, you're not a gold digger, so what's changed? Three years of waiting on tables and getting me bum pinched for tips, that's what. So does he live around here? He's the local vet. <laughs> Paddy? What, you know him? Yes, he's a very good friend of mine. 
Blimey. What are the chances of that? <sighs> this could be a bit awkward. I need you to do me a favour. I had to spin him a bit of a line to hook him. I've told him the name's Fireblade and I've been chatting with him online. You're joking. I've never been more serious. He thinks I'm the love of his life. <laughs> and by the time he realises I'm not, I'll be long gone with a few quid in my pocket. And I'm relying on you not to spoil it for me. Catch you later. This can't go on. Everybody's abusing me. I'm lying to the back of my teeth. Much more stressed than I'll be under the doctor. Shh! Keep your voice down. Your mother is exploiting dumb, innocent people again. I don't like it any more than you do. But how else are we going to afford to pay for the wedding? <gasps> That's blatant self-interest. Marlon, back me up. Marlon agrees with me. No, he doesn't. Well, well, you just... Sh I suppose if we're being pragmatic, you know, people are not actually being forced to pay the new prices. Plus, I, can't, I haven't got the money to pay for a wedding, so long live, long live supply and demand. <laughs> Ready? You bet. Is Viv expecting us? I thought we'd surprise her. Kelly, what was the name of that agency that you work for? First Quality Models. Why? Planning a new career move, are you? Mm. They don't take on mature ladies. She'll slap you. Be warned. I need to pop home first. Something's come up. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Did he really just say that? I suppose the bike should be congratulated. I mean, she's managed to find a man more common than she is. <laughs> Hello, there's a sign. Ah, oh, now that's Paddy's new lady friend. Well, all's fair. Dad. Hi. Hello. And uh, you are? Tony. Rodney. Blackstock. Uh, Bucks Fizz, is it? Or... Uh, well. Allow me. Oh, thanks. You're very kind. <laughs> Where have you been hiding? With my new boyfriend. Hi. Blimey. Oh, fed up of fooling around with boys. I need a real man. Oh, people are eating. Sorry, this is just so hard to resist. Mm. Any chance some grub? We're starving. Mm. Yes, uh, you two love birds. Come and take a seat. I'm sure Donna can rustle up something nice. I always knew she'd land on her feet. On her back, more like. I'm amazed that it's lasted this long. You mean you've known and you didn't tell me? Oh, why must everything be my fault? Well, at least she hasn't thrown herself at a penniless chef. Do them a couple of gala pie salads and add 15% service onto the bill. In 30 years, remind me to grow old gracefully, will you? <laughs> so? So? Do you like travelling? Footloose and fancy free, that's me. Ah, girl, after my own heart. Mind you, now you're with Paddy, you're probably going to be settling down, eh? No way. I like to keep things casual. Just don't tell him that. Oh, don't worry, I won't. I'm a pretty casual sort of chap myself, you know. Steady. One Bucks Fizz. I'm not that easy. Oh, well, I can lavish you with all the Bucks Fizz you could ever wish for. <laughs> Do the nurses know you're at large? <laughs> what? No offence. I think it's good to meet a man of your age who's still prepared to give it a go. Thanks for the drink. You're a sweetie. <sighs> She's got a point. You are a bit old for spring chickens. I see Jimmy's taking a long uh, lunch. Lady? According to this, first quality models went bust over a year ago. You're supposed to be costing the Sheffield project. Now, it's possible that another agency took over the name. But it's looking unlikely. Sadie. <sighs> Matthew, look, what are we supposed to do? Sit back and watch while the bike muscles her way into the family? Where have I heard that before? 
Hasn't your humiliating tussle with Charity taught you anything? I'm not planning anything underhand. If Kelly Windsor is everything she says she is, then she has nothing to fear. I know nothing about this. I didn't pay to eat in yesterday. Oh, it's only 20p. Only? And what's organic about processed cheese? I'm not having this. Vivian? Oi, that's private. But this was bound to happen. Have you been stirring up dissension? Nothing less than diplomatic. We demand an explanation. Vivian, you need it. If she's not coming down, I'm going up. I'm right behind you. If you want an explanation, if you must know, Vivian has bunged the prices up yet again to pay for her and Donna's double wedding. She's done what? Yes. What the hell is going on? You've a few questions to answer, lady. <laughs> Something terrible's happened. Yeah, I know. My cousin's turned up claiming to be Fireblade. She's your cousin? Have you put her up to this? Oh, I'm stupid. Why would I want to do that? <sighs> well, someone's given her the idea. Someone did. All right, so it's all my fault. Yes, it is, remember? Look, you're going to have to tell Paddy what she's up to. Me? Well, she's your cousin. Well, it was your idea. Besides, <sighs> Paddy's a mayor. I don't want to upset him. Hang on. He's my boss. He's going to sack me when he finds out about this. I know he is. How many more times? All I am trying to do is provide healthy and organic sustenance. She's told us what's going on. There's no point trying to deny it. You lot ought to remember how lucky you are to even have a village shop. What is lucky about a wedding tax? I say we boycott the place. Yeah, there's plenty of shops in Otten. Don't be ridiculous. What you save on groceries, you have to fork out on transport. For your information, the supermarket does home deliveries for a fiver. A fiver? Is that all? Oh, just now, you were complaining about 20p. This is a matter of principle. Who's for the boycott, then? I am. Oh, they're bluffing. Anybody else? Yes. <laughs> that sounds serious to me. <laughs> the public has spoken. Yep. Mum! Wait! I might have been a bit zealous with my price increase. I am prepared to have a bit of a rethink. We want yesterday's prices, or there'll be a picket line round this shop in half an hour. OK. I'll tell you what. I'll get married in a bin liner. Happy now? <laughs> Justice has been done. Yeah, but don't expect mercy. There's some man called Dennis Connors, who she claims is her agent. Now, while I don't doubt that he is, what I do suspect is the kind of magazine she models for only sell in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, eh? Calm down. I'm not sending you on a recce. Now, she's been living in London. I don't have an address, so I suggest you start in Soho or wherever the sleazy pond life hang out these days. So, basically, you want dirt? I want the truth. What she's been doing and who she's been doing. Do you want me to pack my camera like I did last time? This is a completely different assignment. Well, it still involves a pretty girl some years younger than yourself. Let's be clear about this. I'm employing you because I need a quick result. And you're the only private detective that I know. So I suggest you wipe that smug look off your face. I haven't accepted the job yet. Last time I worked for you, your husband threatened me with violence. Do you want my money or not? I suppose it's as good as anyone else's. I'll be in touch. Uh, remember, I want a quick result. My kind of girl. I thought I'd make a start. Now everything's back to no, normal. Not quite. Get out of my shop. Vivian will laugh about all this tomorrow. I took pity on you. How many other people will put up with your doziness and your verbal diarrhoea? Well, I will not tolerate disloyalty from anybody. Especially not from a sad, old, spinster of a windbag like you. Now get out. <sighs> That was harsh. It had to be said. Oh, it's got a lake and woods with rabbits, and it's all ours. <laughs> oh, it's our first family holiday, Ashley. Fine, I can manage. Oh. We could pop in and see your dad on the way. 
I don't think so. I've told you how things are between us. Well, not entirely. What matters now is you and me and Gabby. Heaven knows it's taken us long enough to get to this point. I know, and we're going to have the time of our lives. Good. But the argument's not over. Not by a long chalk. I love you, Reverend Thomas, so your problems are now my problems. I know. I love you too. Let's go and get Gabby, and let me take you away from <laughs> all this. <laughs> what do you mean, he's your favourite? And since when have you been at the action movies anyway? <laughs> oh, OK, I'm on my way. Nicola fancies a night out and hot. Oh, enjoy yourself. You all right? <sighs> Just go. OK, keep your wig on. I love you. Yeah, love you. Did you realise? If I decided to sell the practice, I'd probably have enough money to spend the next six months just jetting around the world. No, it's right, though. No, Tony's worked it out. She's absolutely brilliant like that, full of these wacky little ideas. Yeah, but you can't just chuck everything. What are you going to do when the money runs out? I'm a professional, aren't I? I'll always find one. Mate, I hear there's a shortage of vets in, uh, in Bolivia. Bolivia? I like the sound of that. Well, apparently it's not all it's cracked up to be. No, it's right, though. I just, I, I think I've played it far too straight for far too long, and Tony's introduced me to this whole new way of thinking. Fate wonderful. Indeed. How do you know you can trust her? This is true love, this. What's trust got to do with it? Honeypot. Baby. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I've been into Leeds, and I've bought this absolutely sensational dress. Is it skimpy? Infinitesimal. Bought it for you. Show you my appreciation. And I like seeing your appreciation. <laughs> so what are we waiting for? Oh, hang on a minute. I want to wear with you. Later. Go after her. <laughs> Let him be happy. Oh, she's just admitted to Danny. She's just out for what she can get. Oh. Hiya. Hi. Uh, it's Nicola. I don't know. It's just me. Learn again, naturally. <laughs> I know how you feel. Mm. Dear. What's up? Uh, nothing. <laughs> That's the trouble. Oh, uh... <laughs> oh, look, uh, do you mind if I come in for a minute? Oh, by all means. Not much company, though. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Viv sacked me. What? I don't blame her. Who cares about the price of tins of beans? <laughs> Should've kept my stupid mouth shut. What's that? Our new venture. You're pushing your luck. It's completely above board. You heard what Pearl said. All the big supermarkets are doing home deliveries. Well, I'm not qualified to drive vans. You got a moped. Me? Yeah, surface with a smile, Donna. You are seriously losing the plot. Do you want to walk down the aisle in a charity shop dress? Look, with this little enterprise, plus what I'll be saving now I've let Leslie go... Yeah, after humiliating and abusing her. She deserved it. No, Mum, she didn't. Well, maybe I was a bit harsh in the heat of the moment, but it's us who matter. Every bride deserves a good send-off. You love riding your bike. Just think of it as mixing business with pleasure. Like I've got a choice. Good girl. What's Simon going to say if I can't pay my share? He and Nicola could lose that cost. You'll find another job. Let's not kid ourselves. I'm a woman of a certain age, and who wants a woman of a certain age? It's the same for men. Is it? You know, I sometimes wonder if I'm disappearing. <gasps> I can't. Yeah. Nobody knows you're there. And more to the point, nobody cares. Exactly. <gasps> and then you find that you're the laughing stock. Uh, yeah, I don't mean you're the laughing stock. No, no, I am. You're so nice. You know, when I look back on my <sighs> life, it's just one long succession of failures. You know, Leslie, mm. I have never had a relationship that lasts longer than two years. <sighs> I've always had my head turned too easily, that's it. I was always chasing after any bright new thing that came my way. I never bothered to put down any roots. But home farm... Home farm would have rooted me. Do you know what you need? A sports car. Yeah. Why? Uh, well, 
Because girls are impressed with sports cars. Yeah, but why am I still impressed with girls? I'm not a fool. I realise now that all they really want is what I can give them. Do you know, I haven't had a man since Mick passed away. <laughs> really? Mm. <clears throat> Loneliness is very boring. I hate boring. I hate boring. I want to be swept off my feet. <laughs> I'll probably sprain my ankle. <laughs> you still might be. I think so. Mm. You're still quite attractive. Oh, you say the nicest things. Hey, hey, Marla, Marla, you have to have a word with Paddy and just wise him up, man. Oh, do your own dirty work. <sighs> have you seen enough? Yes, I think we all have. No cutting riposte. Oh, no. I'll do my talking when the time's right. Yeah.